Hey there guys, this is Ian Michael Smith. I'm doing a video tutorial for those of you who asked. Uh, this is a tutorial for my January desktop that was seen on Lifehacker. Um, yeah, so I'm going to walk you through all the steps necessary to get to the point of the desktop that was featured on Lifehacker. Um, the, the materials you're going to need, you're going to need Geek Tool uh, version 3. That's the version that I use in this tutorial. Uh, also, you're going to need an image editor. The image editor that I use is Photoshop CS5. And uh, you're also going to need a couple scripts, and I'm going to walk you through that to a download page, and all of this should be underneath the video and the, uh, the information. Alright guys, so the first step is open up your web browser and go to my Flickr page with the desktop on it. Luckily, I have a link right here. And somewhere in the title should have a link to Paul Gabriello. As you can see, I found the desert image, and that brings you to interface lift. And that's the original wallpaper. So drag that to your desktop, and open up Photoshop or any other image editor. So what we're going to be doing is making a wallpaper with the dock, and also we're going to be making an image with the, the desert sand as a single image. So first off, what I did is I highlighted the whole image and I'm going to use the command T or Apple T to transform the image and stretch it upwards so that you have a space for the dock. And bring it to 100% zoom so that you can adjust the size accordingly. Alright, there you go. Why? Okay, and now what I use is the magic wand to. Oh, nope. That's a different step. So you grab the, uh, the color of the lowest part of the desert sand with the dropper tool so that you can fill in the dock with a matching color of sand. And then we're going to select 50% opacity for the paintbrush tool and then we're going to select black after making the brush size 100 pixels there we go alright so turn it black and fill it in and I had some problems holding down shift here I have to go back so if you hold down shift before you paint you can paint in a nice straight line there we go it looks pretty good so that gives us kind of a nice cocoa-y brown color right over the desert. So it, uh, it's a nice color scheme with the 50% opacity black. So save it as a JPEG like I just did there. And now we're going to select only the desert. So use the magic wand tool, select the sky and the dock, and press Command-Shift-I to inverse the selection. You can either copy it to a new layer or do what I just did and delete the sky and the dock. And then crop. Delete the background layer so that you have only the desert. It's just clear right there. And those of you who can't follow my instructions to a T, just go back and follow the exact movements that I did. And the only hotkeys that I used were Command T and Command Shift I for inverse selection. So there we go. So we have the desert sand as a single image and the dock wallpaper. I'm just going to set that wallpaper for you. And what I noticed after I was finished is that when I originally made the desert wallpaper, as you can see there, I cropped quite a bit of the bottom off of the sand. And so that overall kind of made the image a little bit too tall for my taste in this tutorial, but I'm just doing it quickly, so that's okay. You guys can crop it however you want, proportion it however you like. So then open up Geek Tool. Like I just did there, create a new group. I made the group Desert Tutorial and drag out five shell scripts. Those are all the scripts you're going to need. I'm going to give myself some room here. Oh. 
drag out an image script. That's for the desert sand. There we go. All right, and um, size this so that it overlays the sand perfectly. Um, I sort of cut so you guys didn't have to see me fooling around with it. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now first we're going to make the clock. Move those out of the way for you. I try to make this as clutter free as possible. All right, so first is the dock. Drag that little window to size it just right and type in date plus percent L colon percent M. So date plus percent L colon percent M. Go down to select font, select Helvetica New Light, size 288. So again, that's Helvetica New Light, size 288. Now we're going to change the color on this, or hue, to be white. As you can see there, you can send the Geek Tool output data forward or back. That's how we do the sand in front of the clock effect. So select the color as white with an opacity of 75%. There we go. So all the way to the top white, 75% opacity. There we go. Send to back. There we go. So that's how it looks in my Flickr image. So grab the next shell script. We're going to put in the date next to the clock. The command is date plus percent capital B. So date plus percent capital B. And don't forget on all these uh, data outputs to put in a refresh rate. That's actually what I forgot to do. Right below the command bar, you can see refresh every blank seconds. What you should put is about 100 seconds for the month, um, you know, 20 seconds for the day, and then one second for the clock so that it's right on time. <laughs> All right, now I'm doing the, the date script. It's date plus percent D, lowercase d. Date plus percent D. Again, it's Helvetica New Light. This one's going to be in between 144 and 288. I'm just going to put 190. That works for you guys. And again, we're going to change the color of that eventually to be white with an opacity of 75%. Here I'm going to line up the two. I just made a classic mistake. I'm going to line up the two by dragging a box so I can see where they're at. Pretty close. A little bit down. There we go. Perfect. Again, so right click the data and say send to back to send it behind the desert image. Pure white, 75%. There we go. All right. And in my original desktop that's on Flickr, the clock is actually Helvetica New Medium, I think. Um, I'll compare and contrast my desktop with the one that I made for you guys towards the end so you can see all the things that are a little bit more polished. So now I'm going to add the script for iTunes. Oh, look at that. That sucks. <laughs> Muscle memory. All right. So in the comments somewhere on my Flickr upload, I listed somewhere a couple of scripts. Let's see. Here we go. So 
So both scripts are for iTunes. One of them puts up the label now playing and the other script labels the uh, current track. So what you need to do is drag a shell script to the appropriate spot and type OSA script, OSA script, and then tilde and then a location. So if you drag the script into the command bar after typing OSA script tilde, you'll get slash users slash your username slash desktop slash iTunes current track dot script. What you need to do is delete the slash users so that it's just, for example, OSA script space tilde Ian Smith slash desktop or OSA script tilde your username desktop. Okay, so you can see now I'm playing a song. It's pretty good songs by Abacus. A good techno artist or Psy Chill specifically. So I'm adjusting the font to be 75% gray, 100% opacity. That's for the current track. And the next one is going to be the now playing script. So again, I'm going to type in OSA script tilde Ian Smith slash desktop slash iTunes current track, or excuse me, iTunes now playing script. And remember to put in a refresh rate for both of these, um, specifically a refresh rate of one second for each of them. So as soon as you start the track, it doesn't have any lag time. It looks a bit more polished that way. I like to have a font of 18 right there. It looks pretty good. And 100% white, 100% opacity. And I'll place that right above the current track. So that's just about how I have it set up on my Flickr upload. So now what we're going to do... No, no, that's not a good font size. I changed the font size for now playing and the current track to be 20. I don't know if that was a good choice or not, but it looks pretty good. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to move the desert image forward so that it's in front of all the Geek Tool displays. Move that stuff to the garbage just to show you guys the finished product. So there we go. So there's the desktop that I just made. Here's the one before. There's the one I just made. And there's the one before. Thanks for watching.